Hunnigan, what happened? The transmission got cut off. <laughs> Salazar, how'd you... We've jacked the line. We didn't want you telling everyone any unnecessary information. Where's Ashley? Ah, so she fell into one of our wonderful traps. We'll make sure we find her. Don't you worry about her. Oh, yes. I let our miserable insects out for some exercise down in the sewer. Thanks. That should keep me company, because boredom kills me. I look forward to our next encounter in another life. All right, my friends, welcome back to my professional difficulty, no damage walkthrough for Resident Evil 4. So in the previous chapter, Ashley got kidnapped yet again because she got upset that she was coughing up blood and decided to make a run for it. And of course, she didn't last very long at all on her own. And now we have to save her, but hey, at least we won't have to deal with her for the next two chapters at least. So we get a little break from Ashley and in this chapter we'll be battling the Novistadors for the first time but for the most part you can shoot them before they do anything because you'll be able to see their saliva coming out of their mouth so that's how you know where they are but they always appear in the same location so eventually you will memorize their positions In this chapter we're going to cross the dreaded maze once again, but hopefully things will be okay and we shouldn't have too many issues. I'm pretty sure I got him in the head the first time, but somehow he still survived. Now there's going to be another one there. It doesn't seem like he's walking out. Maybe he doesn't want to face Leon. Well, we'll have to get in there. It's always nice that Leon can counter with that kick attack. It comes in handy. And now there's going to be one more. Let's pick up the grenade first. He's out there somewhere. He seems to be hiding. Because he's not coming at me. Any day now. Well, guess we'll have to improvise. Still not coming after Leo. Oh, there he is. Let's shoot him again still alive, well, we'll get him in a little bit, let's pick up the yellow orb first. I guess this is one of those guys who opposed Salazar. I don't know where he is, I think he's running away from me, which is hilarious. Because he's not in this room. What's he doing? Oops, that's not good. Right on time. <laughs> that was close. But hey, everything was fine in the end, so we're all good. Let's keep moving. I tell you, the Novista doors, I don't like battling them simply because they always mess up my accuracy a little bit. I always manage to miss a couple of shots. But there's going to be two of them waiting to ambush Leon. If you look up, there they are. 
That's the first one and the second one will appear after you finish off the first one. There he is. And there we go. Now there's going to be a few more of them, but honestly guys, I'm going to make the run for it towards the exit. Because even though we can pick up a few extra gems, the truth is we'll be picking up a bunch of them in a couple of chapters. So there's really no point in wasting the ammunition here and taking care of the remaining Novistadors, so we'll see them all later. There's one right behind me. But we're good. They won't follow you into this room, so you shouldn't have any issues here. Now we're going to use a little trick to take care of a bunch of zealots at the same time. Let's just get the grenade. Well, if dying is leaving, then I guess you'll be happy with this. So throw a grenade in the middle of them. Now, jump down. One of them should still be alive. Their leader, there he is. We're going to prevent him from escaping because he will run away. I, I guess he doesn't want to fight Leon at, at all, but... Unfortunately for him, we really want that pendant, so... I am going to shoot him. There we go. So yeah, if you throw a grenade, you'll be able to collect a lot of gems. Even though, to be honest, it didn't seem like any of these zealots wanted to fight Leon in the first place. So maybe we should feel bad for doing this. But then again, their slogan is dying is leaving, so we're doing them a favor, really. So yeah, I don't feel bad. Anyway, let's jump to the other side. And we're going to pick up another elegant mask. I like how the merchant was staying there in his corner. You know, you know merchant, you could pick up a rocket launcher and help Leon out every once in a while. That would be useful. So let's sell him some stuff and then we're going to move on to the next area. By the way, save those incendiary grenades for the maze area. They really come in handy. And now we're good to go. This area is kind of annoying because sometimes it can go terribly bad. But hopefully We'll manage to do this the first time around. Our goal is to shoot the zealot with the red attire, because if we take too long and we allow him to escape, then he will reach a gatling gun and then your life will be a lot harder. So we want to finish him off before he gets to the gatling gun. You know, instead of pointing, you could just attack me. It would probably save you some time. Suplexity! Leon is a fan of the WWE, clearly. Anyway, let's get going now. And we're going to wait for the gun uh, not the Ganados, the Zealots. I mean, they should be Ganados as well, I guess, but anyway, we're going to shoot that barrel over there. Okay. 
can't quite shoot him from here yet. But though I'm pretty sure I was aiming perfectly, but somehow that shot missed. But that's okay because it's better to use the sniper rifle or the semi auto rifle here. Let's take care of this guy first. He will only start running away once you actually aim your weapon at him. So let's try and finish him off before he starts running. Let's do this. Come on, one more. Still alive, impressive. He's a rather resiliency a lot. But let's take care of this guy. There we go. And now let's get the key. And we'll jump down and collect a few rewards. Hey, that painting of that woman looked like Princess Leia. That's totally Princess Leia. Anyway, let's get going. You have to solve a small puzzle. Nothing too hard. Even though the next area, it might be troublesome to avoid taking damage. But hopefully we should be okay. Let's use the key. Make sure you get that velvet blue. And now we're going to solve this puzzle, so first you press 1, then you press 2, then you press 3, and lastly you press 4, before selecting OK, and that's the solution, so pretty simple, right? What a pleasant surprise! But I'm afraid it's Ashley we need. Not you, Mr. Kennedy. If you don't need me, then get off my back, old man! <gasps> Did you say old man, Mr. Kennedy? It might come as a surprise, but I'm only 20 years old. So you're just like all the others? A puppet of the parasites? Surely you don't think I'm the same as those diminutive ganados. The parasites, las plagas, are slaves to my will. I have... Absolute control. Well, I really don't give a damn. Rain or shine, you're going down. Get rid of our American friend. Okay, guys, so we're not going to waste time fighting these guys. Instead, we're going to make a run towards the exit instead because once we leave this area and we come back all of the enemies will have disappeared which is hilarious but that's just how it is so let's dodge this guy and make sure you press this button on the wall and now here come our friends with rocket launchers they will actually help you and take care of the other zealots for you so we're going to run inside here press the button to create the bridge and if you stay close to the door the zealots with the rocket launcher they will open fire and in the process they will take care of the zealots with the who keep following Leon so that's a strategy that you can use which will make your life a lot easier here the most important thing is that you keep moving because you don't want to waste too much time otherwise you might be in trouble 
And now we're just going to leave. And I'll turn around. And I don't know if the zealots are play playing hide and seek or something, but they all disappear just like that. It's quite impressive really that they all managed to just ra run away out of the room before Leon came back inside. Let's step into the final area of this chapter. Let's move this here and this up here and turn this grenade around. We're going to be using quite a few incendiary grenades in the next area, so... Don't worry about them because you will be using them and they're just very effective for the next area because all of the wolves or dogs or whatever you want to call them they're very weak against fire so a single incendiary grenade will finish them off even on professional so we'll use that to our advantage and we have a lot of treasures to pick up the only one that I care about is the red gem, really. Mr. Kennedy. Still alive, I see. So, do you like my garden? I see you've managed to work in a little of your twisted taste here, too. <laughs> Sagacious as I am. Even I get lost here sometimes. Even if it takes your whole life, you'll never get out. Do you know that no one dies without a cause? You will satisfy the stomachs of my cute pets. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to tie up a few loose ends. Like chasing down a couple of rats. Two rats? If one's Lewis, who's the other? Huh. They're an intruder besides me? They really like to give information away, don't they? I mean, they inform us of the location of enemies, they tell us about other intruders, it's wonderful to be a villain <laughs> in these type of games. Of course we're going to find out who the intruder is pretty soon. That guy's down. Now let's go through here, pick up an incendiary grenade, if you get too close those wolves will jump out of their cage and attack Leon, but if you throw an incendiary grenade you can dispose of all three of them at the same time. I feel bad for them because they were probably used as test subjects for Las Plagas, but Unfortunately, we can't let them leave, otherwise we might be in trouble. Let's wait a little bit to another one. There we go. As you can see, the incendiary grenades take care of the wolves very quickly. Now let's go through here. Pick up some ammunition. And if you take this path, you'll be able to pick up the first emblem. Or the left half of the emblem. And I'll throw another incendiary grenade. There's going to be a lot of dogs here. Or wolves. And here comes another one. Shoot it with the shotgun. And there we go. There's quite a few more of them, unfortunately. But... They always appear in the same area, so eventually you will memorize their attack pattern. 
playing this section for the first time it can be very nerve-wracking because you don't know when the wolves are going to appear but fortunately eventually you do memorize their locations and that makes your life easier so let's wait here as you can see here comes another one so let's shoot the wolf again there we go and there's the red gem make sure you pick it up we'll pick up the other half so we could leave the maze now if we wanted but there's still a few rewards that we can get namely a first aid spray so we'll go, go ahead and get that and I have some company behind me come on there we go And there's still, I think, three more. The first one will be here in the corner. There he is. And now the other one is inside a cage. We're once again going to use a, an incendiary grenade. We have plenty to spare, so don't worry about it. go now if you go through here you'll get the first aid spray but there's one more wolf so if you take this pet there he is he's the last one And that's all of them. So now, I already took this path, yep. So now we're going to get out of here. And that's going to be it for this chapter, my friends. We just need to take this path right here and leave. And we're going to be reunited with an old friend slash love interest for Leon. But then again, Leon has a lot of love interests in this game, I guess, but anyway. That's going to be it for this chapter, my friends. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all later for the next part of my walkthrough. Take care. Put your hands where I can see them. Sorry, but following a lady's lead just isn't my style. Put them up now. Bit of advice, try using knives next time. Works better for close encounters. Leon. Long time no see. Ada. So it is true. True? About what? You, working with Wesker. I see you've been doing your homework. Why, Ada? What's it to you? Why are you here? Why'd you show up like this? <laughs> See you around. Ada! 